with that new study about jump-starting your family and men's fertility, could it be as easy as getting off the couch? And we're going to and going for a walk. Dr. Ashton is here to break down the new research and Doc, tell us about this new study. So this all centers on exercise and male fertility. Mm -hmm. Some past studies showed that exercise helped, others showed it didn't help. This study looked at four groups of men. One group did nothing, they stayed on the couch. The other three groups did various types of exercise in terms of intensity, frequency, all exercise helped male fertility, but the group that did what was called moderate intensity mm -hmm. had an increase in number, how they swam, their shape, their DNA integrity. That's uh, big bucks. There. Not how they swam, like in the man, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. But, but, so, so <laughs> when you talk about True. intensity, well, how much exercise? Is it just walking? Is it running? It is it lifting weights? Sim not that much. It could be as simple as walking or jogging on a treadmill four to six times a week for about 45 minutes. Um, and they saw results in as little as three months. So this is empowering for men. It takes two. Yes. They need to start doing something, too, to hold up their part of the bar. Because infertility, uh, at 40% of it, of it is on the male side. Right, exactly. 40% of infertility for couples has to do with what we call male factor. So for a couple, there are a couple of things that men should do themselves. What can you do? Number one, avoid hot environments. Get that laptop off your lap. Don't sit in the jacuzzi. Avoid smoking. Eat a healthy diet. And there's an over-the-counter product, Michael, called Preg Prep for men. It contains a compound called NAC, which can help male fertility as well. All right. Well, thank you, Doc. We're okay. going to look at to that if we need it.